Hi, I'm Sean. I'm here with Heidi. Uh, we're talking about some of the greatest features that we feel about AutoCAD 2010. And uh, just want to kind of discuss kind of what we've heard from customers as well as demonstrating the product in beta around the world. So Heidi, um, nice to see you here. Good to see you, Sean. What has been the main reactions uh, for AutoCAD 2010? You know, I have been presenting this um, at, with our partners and various people around the world, and people are so excited. And I have to say, I am, I've seen a lot of releases of AutoCAD being with Autodesk for a long time. This is my most, my, this is my favorite release ever. This Very, is R14 too. <laughs> it's okay. even better than that. Yeah. We've got parametrics, we've got freeform design. This is a great release. I'm excited. Yeah, so, you know, and I've been in Japan and I've been showing some of the features myself to different customer groups. And uh, I've heard oohs and ahs like you would hear at a, at a July 4th uh, event. Um, so let's go through a couple of the things that we find as our favorites. And they may differ from other people's, but there's a lot to choose from in this release. Heidi? Parametric design. You can add um, geometric and dimensional constraints. You can add parallel, um, perpendicular, exactly, <laughs> collinear, and a whole lot more. And it's um, a way that you can constrain your objects within the drawing so that as you edit them, they maintain those relationships between objects. Very powerful. Yeah, a lot of mechanical users will understand what parametrics and constraints are. Um, some people in other fields may not and may take a little bit of time to get their head around it. But it's very, very powerful. Another, another thing we've done is a lot more 3D work. We've added meshes. So we've, we're doing freeform modeling now in AutoCAD. These are things that you can't do in a lot of tools out there. And so we've given you the ability to create organic surfaces, solids, convert a mesh to a solid, um, enhance the 3D gizmo, and a lot more. Um, more ideas? And you know, if you have tried using AutoCAD for 3D prior to AutoCAD 2007, you, um, you would have been amazed by AutoCAD 2007 and the solid and, and the um, easy use of the, the tools that were in 2007. We have taken that way beyond with AutoCAD 2010. Uh, as Sean said, the freeform modeling, you can start with those intuitive tools that you're familiar with, um, use the gizmo that was introduced in AutoCAD 2007 and greatly enhanced in AutoCAD 2010 and um, edit those meshes and those edges and vertices and faces to create these really um, complex and um, interesting freeform shapes. And there's a lot of other things. Um, editing hatches, um, hatch uh, far away from coordinates. Um, a lot of the things you saw in the subscription bonus packs are now in the release. So PDF underlay or the enhanced PDF output referencing the PDF. Um, just a lot of stuff throughout. And you know, one of the things I found surprising and very exciting um, with the uh, survey that you guys conducted with the beta participants, the AutoCAD 2010 beta participants, the third um, most popular feature in AutoCAD 2010 was the ribbon. Uh, what it, do you think of that? There has <laughs> been a lot of work in AutoCAD 2010 on the ribbon based on customer feedback. It's peppier, it's more logical. Um, a lot of people have talked to one of the designers behind it, Matt Stein, and he's listened. And so they definitely, you know, this is the second release with the ribbon, and they're really starting to adopt it and like it. And, you know, that kind of relates in general, I think, um, with this release. Even though some of this functionality is, is very powerful, like the parametrics, the freeform modeling, it's easy to use. And I I'm, consider myself an instructor, um, but when I have taught these tools and when I've used them myself, these are easy to use. They're very intuitive, and um, anything that you're familiar with with AutoCAD in general, just your, your intuition it's easy to take these tools and apply them and start creating your models and your 2D designs from those. What about the, the, the dynamic blocks now have constraints in them? They do. And they cleaned it up so that you don't see all the lightning bolts everywhere. It's very sleek. And there's a test block tool also with yes. the dynamic block editor. You don't need to save your block. Go out and test it. You can test it right there yep. and see that you messed up. I mean, I don't do it right the first time every time. So. Yeah, none of us do. <laughs> yeah. A lot of in increased performance in the product. Um, Boy, there, there is just, we could go down a list and speak for probably the next 20 minutes of the things that have been put in here. But uh, thank you very much, Heidi. I think it's going to be a well, great release. Thanks for having me here. I'm excited.